very interesting, uh, very interesting table in my book, which I did in English, is Professor Robert Aralik. You can see Torah Code and Kabbalah. And then I brought very, very interesting words from the Talmud, from the Mishnah, about the destruction of the Galilee. Yeah, this is what is happening today. So I was a Mishnah which quoted that, that in the time preceding the Messiah, the Galilee will be destroyed. This is in Talmud Sanhedrin, chapter Chelek, which is a Sadiq Zayn, Sadiq all over discussing signs before Messiah. So here Professor Radik tells us what we are doing in the table in which we have the word, the gallery was destroyed. You can see it. Yeah, the gallery was destroyed. This is funding by Professor Alik. And so analyzing the finding scientifically, so he says the following, the result for the pairing of the Galilee with the destroyed is a compact table with the two ELS, which is equal letter sequence, having the same skip and therefore appearing to be parallel with the expected number of ELS set to 35. The probability, this is the most important, the result, the probability is that the text from the ELS, equal letter six, and random placement text population would have a small an area table as that produced by the Torah text is 11 to 10,000. So 11 to 10,000, <laughs> it looks statistically, and uh, 11 to 10,000, basically like one to 1,000. No, no that's very significant. So definitely in, in this book that we did together, yeah, you can get it in my site, glazerson.com, glazersonbooks.com. And then in the same place that uh, Professor Alec found that the gallery will be destroyed, I found interesting that it is an additional one, yeah, the gallery, yeah. In fact, uh, I did not emphasize it, but you will see there, even that is written with burning, Boer, the land, Boer, yeah, a lot of, <laughs> unfortunately, they say that oh, such a terrible error which is burned, it was, this is what the missile did. So you can see here, if you look properly, yeah, you can see, the same thing like before, destroyed, and you have the land, and then you can see the word Be'er. Be'er is a source of burning. Yeah, burning, burning, all right? So, unfortunately, this is what happened. This is what I found, the addition one I found. And then, what more Professor Arik found, very, very interesting, and he, found that basically in the same table that we had before, the gallery destroyed and so on, you have the word Magog, Gog or Magog, because those are really the evil person, you know, who are doing it. So you can see here on top, yeah, this was found by Professor Alec, but he's very interesting. That clearly tell you that this, <laughs> What is going on is part of the fighting of Gogo Magog. We say that many indications that in future 
the Gog and Magog will be the Ishmael, the Arabs, and all the Palestinians and so on. Maybe the Palestinians. I brought the Tikkuni Zohar. If it looks very interesting, the Tikkuni Zohar brings the Psalms of, da- of uh, Tehillim of David, who says clearly that he sees that in future the Palestinians will fight with Jews, with Israel, and whatever it is, it's very interesting to know that the, even today Palestinians look like they are physically and not directly connected, but they are adopted, many other commentators, that the fact that they are attracted to this place is a sign that the Rus is there. So this is really very, very interesting because you see so clearly in the Torah, in fact, significant uh, number that the story which today, uh, one could say the most important is the news, yeah, gallery, gallery, fighting the gallery, burning, fires in the gallery, so this is such a terrible burning all over, yeah, so definitely clear proof that we are in front of, in, in fact, in front of us are facts, yeah, the Torah is a blueprint of creation, the Torah tells you exactly that what uh, our rabbis tell us, yeah, everything happens, so they said clearly, that the Galilee will be destroyed, which mainly, as we said, you can see it by burning, and all the inhabitants left cannot be there, yeah? And exactly this is written also in the Talmud, that they will go from le makom, that the people will go from place to place. I mean, it is so <laughs> clearly how the Torah, the blueprint of creation, Tell us everything which is going on, what is going to happen. This, this is a fact, you know, we brought. Then I brought a lot of Tikkunay Zao yeah, about the situation before the time. The, in fact, this is all in the chapter we did together, time of redemption. And this is one of the signs, yeah. This is what I mentioned, the redemption will happen after the war of Gogo Magog. At that time the Messiah will arrive and restore the kingdom of Israel, rebuild the temple and help organize the in gathering of exiles. The Messiah will usher in a period of peace and knowledge of God. So even Isaiah describes the period of redemption, so he said, a very known prophecy, Isaiah 11, 6, 6, 9, the verses about the situation at that time. So he waits anxiously every day for the time of redemption. When will it occur? So the Kabbalists tell us, very interesting, what's in the book, the Kabbalists tell us, this is a potential end of days in every generation according to its merits. And potential Messiah in the leader of each generation according to the extent to which the people follow in his ways. If the sins become too numerous, the redemption is postponed until a future time. So this is Tikkunay Zohar Hadash, the new Hadash, 95, the page 95a. Thus, there have been many times which were for future time for the redemption. Rabbi Gleroson, is this what he wrote, Professor Alex? Rabbi Gleroson, in his book, Time of Redemption, writes about the times that previous sages thought 
propitious for the redemption. All these times have passed. Now, however, the time must be closed, for many of the signs that the sages have written about uh, are already present. So I, <laughs> I brought you the famous Salmud Sota 49b, long Gmore in the period preceding the coming of Messiah. Insolence will increase and honor vain. Prices will spell on earth. So <laughs> long about this, and uh, in the end, this is it written. So, what we'll do only upon our Father in heaven. I mean, this depends <laughs> on God. So then I bought the story, the Talmud, the mission of the Galilee. Interesting why Galilee is a lot of ideas. Some say the, the Messiah will come from the Galilee. Okay, this is a lot about it. But as I said, all this which I brought in my book with Professor Alex together. And uh, so we brought in the back really of the book Torah Codes Even Outer Layer and then inner layer. The surface layer consists of the statistically unusual compact <laughs> arrangements, like mean tables of historically and logically related keywords. These words are found a significant equivalent letter sequence and appear in relevant portions of the text. The deeper inner layer consists of the Torah interpretation and teaching related to these uh, tables. These Torah teachings are derived from the meaning of the Torah verses contained in the table and the relationship between this relevant key was found in the table. The commentary is based on the written and oral traditions given simultaneously of revelation on Mount Sinai. So this is what he wrote here that in this book we will demonstrate the standards of Torah course table, we will explain the protocols and statistics governing the kind of tables that constitute Torah codes and those that don't constitute Torah codes. The reader will view a remarkable set of tables and explore the significance of the codes according to either the interpretation of the Torah verses that make up the table or by the oral tradition that teaches the wisdom of the relationship of the key verse to the pertinent sections of sex and so on and other. So as I said, our book can be, you can get it, Amazon.org, Barnes, Noble, and my site, glazersonbooks.com. So, as I said, very interesting. Really, how such look very small uh, information. The gallery will be destroyed. People will move from place to place. <laughs> you know, it is more than 2,000 years ago, the Talmud, yeah? And it tells us news, <laughs> news. But such a, one missing such small um, get a little destroyed. <coughs> so this is what the Talmud brings. Yeah. To show to us that it was the blueprint of creation, everything is there. There are many, many deep prisons. So it's the gallery. But it's good. But everything is right. They say that the, most of the area of fields are burned. And people left the north, yeah, and are waiting to come back. 
And this is what I to do not to finish off the Hezbollah, this rubbish. Hezbollah in Hebrew means Zebel. Unfortunately, what we can do, people only killing like wild beasts, Nazis of today. Okay, no hope that you will we'll see, we'll see the Bible quotes or quote, what it is. All the great Gedalim, um, Fisher, from Fisher, Shomazana, whoever said the mystery to distribute it to strengthen people's faith, which is very important for coming of the Messiah. Rabbi Alberstam also. Always told me, go with Professor Reeves. Go to schools, go to teach it, to, to, to show people. This is something not as new. It is already Rabbi Nubachia in, in his book, in the Torah, in Genesis, about the stars. Brings clearly a Bible called 42 letters on Rabbi Choach, which clearly tells you exactly in second, in second, I mean, Exactly the time of the birth of the moon, which is very, very important to know exactly each month. So let us really try to see the truth of all these things. And because faith is one of the most conditions for Messiah to come.